That's surprising. <laughs> I was surprised. <laughs> guys, Melissa here. Today I am doing a video with my best friend Kim. Hi guys. And we are doing a best friend ranks my bag video. So we're doing things a little bit different. I don't want to do a rank 1 through 10 type of cat. I want to do a category type of video to make it a little bit more interesting. And the first category we are going to do is the bag that Kim hates from my collection. So the bag I hate the most is gonna be this bag. It's just the color really throws me off. It's not something I would get for myself at all. And then also it's so tiny, <laughs> like it's very tiny. I feel like you couldn't barely put anything in it. And it's mostly the color. I love green, but this green just kind of really just does not speak to me at all. <laughs> So this is actually one of my favorite bags and before this video I actually talked to Kim and I told her she can't be the nice person that she normally is. She has to be brutal because that's what's entertaining for you guys. So this particular color of green is actually my favorite color green. So you can see how different we are and I actually love this size of bag. Not necessarily what fits inside of there but the actual size of the bag. Looking at this bag, you would think that so much more fits in here, but she's right. You can fit a phone, a card holder, a key clay, and a lipstick, and that's pretty much what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis with this particular bag. Okay, so the next bag that Kim is going to be picking, or the next category rather, is the bag that she loves the most out of my collection. So the one I love the most is this one up here, which I was very, very surprised when she bought it. Um, it's not quite gray. It's not brown. It's very neutral colored. And it's just like my favorite shape. This is kind of like the shapes I usually go for. It's like kind of square but rounded. And then on the inside, it still looks a little smaller, but it still looks a lot like it's easier to like stretch it out than compared to the other one. And then the strap, I like a smaller strap and or like a medium sized strap. I feel like it's more comfortable for me, but I don't think I've ever had a purse that was like bigger, but this one is definitely my favorite. And that is actually probably my current favorite bag in my entire collection. It actually holds a lot more than you would think. I have videos on this bag and I will link it down below for you guys. I am also going to be doing a one year review on this bag very soon, but this bag typically can hold your phone, it can hold a small wallet, a key clay, a card holder, your sunglasses, and a lipstick. So it actually fits all of, that's all of my essentials. And the strap is very comfortable, but one downfall is it's not adjustable. So if you're, for our height oh, and our body okay. size, it works for us. But if you are really petite, it's going to be really long down on you. But that is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, so the next category is going to be the bag that she would never, ever purchase. Even if this was a $5 bag, what would she never purchase? Oh, and see, and that's a hard one because you would think I would go for that green one because I didn't like it. I do hate that one like a lot, <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like for me, for my style wise, it has nothing to do with colors, just style. I would probably never, ever purchase this one. I am not a like spike person at all. That's true. Like at all. Great bag beautiful color love the bag love the texture everything else about the bag i like but because it has the spikes and it's gold <laughs> i would never buy it it could be five dollars and i'd be like nope walk away <laughs> just because i'm not a gold person i'm not a spike person everything else about this bag i love i like the little handle i love the feel of it it's very soft mm -hmm. i love the color you don't really see this kind of brown really all that often and it's all suede in the inside like it's nice but I would never buy it just because it has spikes and it's gold <laughs> it's the only reason why <laughs> so again with our styles being very very different which is kind of funny because we actually have some pieces that are very similar in our yes. wardrobe but there are certain things that we are definitely very different about I'm bold and she's not. No. Let's just put it that way. So <laughs> I <bold>. like <laughs> I like the spikes. I like the edginess to my style. Most of my outfits that I feel the most confident in have some sort of edge to, to them. It. 
but our basics I feel like are the same yeah like we both love summer dresses we yep. both love sandals we both love like an oversized t-shirt t-shirt into jeans yeah so a lot of our basics are there but our extra star pieces are very very different, different so yes this is actually one of my top three bags in my collection yeah <laughs> So I love that one. The next category is the bag that she thinks would be the least practical in my collection. Ooh, least practical. I, well one, of course, this tiny little one. <laughs> you can't even put your phone in it. No, you can't. <laughs> it's like, okay, if you go clubbing and stuff, but mm -hmm. neither one of us do that. We're both no. moms. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, it's cute. But mm -hmm. now it just sits on your shelf and looks pretty. I'm pretty sure she mm -hmm. uses it, but it would just literally just sit on my shelf and look pretty. Yep. Can't, your phone, phones nowadays are too wide. Yeah, Like it'd phone. be different like back in the day when we had flip phones. <laughs> like, that'd be the only thing that would go in here. But yeah, this is the least practical purchase she's made. And I'm honestly a little curious. I wasn't with her when she bought this one. Usually I go with her Can't when she buys it. a lot of them. Oh, I did not know that. That was a birthday present from my husband, but it was on my wish list. So I was wanting a small bag for date nights. Oh. where I'm not carrying a bunch of stuff and I just carry my lipstick and my card holder and that's what I use that bag for. I also love that bag for shopping because I sense. usually have my phone because I'm usually filming for you guys so I'll have my phone in my hand or my pocket and it's just very lightweight. It doesn't get in the way. It doesn't clink on anything. It's not heavy and I can shop all day and not even notice that that bag is on me. But it's not, not bumping it yeah. into things. Yeah. <laughs> but it's definitely not practical. Those are actually the only two occasions I wear that bag for is shopping and date nights. Oh, okay. The next category is Kim's favorite bag for summer slash spring. We usually only have fall slash winter is one season and summer spring <laughs> is one season here. We don't have all four seasons. So we're yeah. going to do summer and spring, her, her favorite bag. Which would be this one, which is very surprising. <laughs> Seeing as I didn't like the other green one, this one's more teal. Yeah. But as soon as I saw this one, it's all flowery. It's all like foresty. Like it just reminds me of like, you go somewhere and you see flowers everywhere and you're like, ooh, it's springtime. Mm -hmm. Like it's just so pretty. And this one, it still looks small, but it's still wide enough for your phone. It's, mm -hmm. still, it's still like wide enough for a wallet. And I feel like during the summer, you don't really have a big purse anyways because you're mostly using it to go to like the pool or something. Like you don't need a whole bunch of stuff. You usually already have a beach bag with you too. Yeah. So this bag, I just wanted to quickly tell you guys the backstory on this bag. It's actually the very first higher end bag that I ever purchased for myself. Mm -hmm. So I had been gifted a Michael Kors bag before this one. But that's the first one I bought for myself. It was originally like $600 and this was years ago. So yeah. that's really high for Michael Kors. And they dropped it to $200 and I was sweating while making <laughs> yeah. these purchase. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I decided to order it online for myself and I've kept it in my collection ever since. I really love to wear this actually with a white t-shirt and jeans, jeans and sandals. So very dressed down where this bag is the focal point. And I, this is actually my son's favorite bag. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Gavin, he loves yeah. that bag. Okay, so the next category is going to be her least favorite summer slash spring bag. Ooh. See, and that one is tricky because I like the purse itself, and it reminds me of spring and summer, but the blue is too light for me. Oh, okay. So... It just, the blue is just really light. I feel like I'm going to put it down on like a pool table mm. and the whole bottom is just going to get ruined. Like that just, it like, for me, if I'm like buying this, I would be like, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get that dirty. <laughs> That's a no for me. I love the shape and everything. I just, the color throws me again. And I also, don't hate me guys. I really don't like this. <laughs> it's really bulky. I'm more of like a smaller like charm on mm -hmm. my purses or like a like a little ribbon or something so that's a little bulky for me and I'm not a big showy case person mm -hmm. so that's going back to her style she doesn't have the edgy style she doesn't like the chunky hardware whereas I really love the chunky hardware mm -hmm. if you guys watch Mrs. Leva's channel she said the same thing about that. Oh, really? Yeah, she was like, <laughs> I don't like the lock. She loves the style of that. Yes, the bag and is the beautiful. old version has a zipper. Oh, that'd it's be not a magnet. Cooler. 
and it has it doesn't have this hanging on the front. Oh, see, so I would probably like that she's, one. She's <laughs> she pretty much does the same thing. She's like the lock is a no go for me. So yeah, I think that's a popular opinion. Okay. The next category is going to be Kim's favorite bag in my collection for fall slash winter. So my favorite is this one. I'm surprised. Really? Yeah. Because <laughs> I've been shying away from color. <laughs> I love this maroon color. What, yes, it has gold. Don't come at me. <laughs> it has gold, but it's not like a whole bunch. It's just a little bit of it, but I just love it. It just makes me feel all like cozy. It's a super strong magnet. <laughs> oh. It just makes me feel cozy. I personally probably wouldn't use the chain just because it is gold. I'd probably use it as like a handbag. But it just it just makes me feel like winter because it's poofy like like one of those snow coats, mm -hmm. like the puffy snow coats. And maroon is such a very fall color. Mm -hmm. So this is my yeah. favorite. So that's actually one of my favorite bags, but I see this bag as very edgy. Really? So that's why I was surprised that you picked it because the color to me is edgy. I usually pair this with a band tee and oh, red sense. studded high heels that are the same color. Oh, that makes sense. So okay. I'm I didn't even and then the chain way. on it because it's a chunkier chain. To me, I just see this bag as a very edgy bag, but I have heard people say it's classic. But yeah. So. Wow, I never would have thought of that as edgy, but when you describe it that way, I'm like, mm -hmm. that would be really edgy. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's another one of my favorites. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Kim's least favorite bag for fall slash winter. So, I don't know if it's fall for her, but it's fall for me. Beige colors make me think more fall, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm very big beige person. I agree. I'm not a fan of, I almost forgot where I was grabbing, <laughs> this one. Like I said, it's big old, huge, chunky, and it's the whole thing. The whole thing. You have no extra, just a strap, and then it's this. Yeah, the, so, whole, the whole strap is chain. You can't hide from the chain. <laughs> it's, it's very gold, mm -hmm. like very bright gold. It's, it's very shiny. Yeah, it's a yellow, yellow gold. I yeah. have a hard time styling this mm -hmm. because my wardrobe is so cool toned, and this particular gold is so yellow. Yeah, and then also... It looks like it gets dirty easy. It does. It gets very dirty easy. So I'm and I'm I'm not a very like clean person. <laughs> like I'm clean, but like I'll put something down somewhere and not even think yeah. about where I'm putting it. Like I don't pay attention enough for you that. You don't baby it. Yeah, I I wouldn't baby it, and then I'd be like, oh, well now I can never wear it because it's ruined. <laughs> but yeah, this is my least favorite. This is very very yellow. So. And this is the same as your green, the green one. The green one. It's very small. It's, and so it, it just doesn't have as much room. And even the strap is a big one. Look at that. Like, that's so yellow. <laughs> How do you feel about the weight of that bag? It's heavy. <laughs> like, I thought it was the bag itself. I didn't realize that there was the shoulder strap in there. And then I opened it and I was like, no wonder it was so heavy. <laughs> There's a whole nother metal piece to it. Like it's, yeah. it's got weight. And then as soon as you put your phone and everything yeah. in it, no that thanks. That bag probably weighs 10 pounds. By itself? By itself. No it's, thanks. It's very, very <laughs> heavy. I've actually only taken it out twice. One for photos for mm -hmm. us. And the second time I took it out to Target just so that I can do a review. I wanted to use the bag. And I had it cross shoulder, cross oh, body, and I ended up having a mark across my collarbone oh. from the chain being so heavy onto my collarbone. And I intentionally shopped with it on oh, because okay. I wanted to be able to talk about the weight mm -hmm, of the bag. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you guys. This bag might have to be sold at the bag. <laughs> yeah. I love it's, the bag, and the, and like the, this and everything is really pretty. It's very soft. Mm -hmm. It's very like squishy and fluffy, and I like that part. It's just it just not for me like at all it's not practical it's definitely an instagram bag yeah it's yeah. great for photos it photographs beautifully mm -hmm. um the color on it pops off especially if you have a very simple outfit it looks really cool top handle just to hold it and let the chain dangle but it's not comfortable it's not practical the suede gets very very dirty very very fast and it's just not it's not a practical bag at all yeah 
Okay, so this next category is kind of controversial because Kim would never spend luxury prices on a bag. She's definitely beautiful, <laughs> but no. She's she's more of the bargain shopper where more is more, and I'm more of the I'd rather spend a lot of money on one piece that I really love. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of different in that way. I think because your style is constantly shifting, you like yeah, to buy new up. things and stuff. But um, price aside which one of these bags if they were in your price point would you actually buy for yourself so there are two actually okay so my favorite one which of course you guys already know is this one so i would buy this one and then if i wanted a little smaller one i actually really like this one. Oh wow it's brown and it's very not really like a color I would go for mm -hmm. and it does have the gold which most of her brown stuff has gold <laughs> yeah. um but I just like the style of it like I feel like it's kind of like a little accordion mm -hmm. like I I don't own anything like this it just would be something that I'd be like well I don't have anything of this style mm -hmm. and I don't think I have like a like a suitcase or not a suitcase a briefcase yeah opening like that either I don't think I have one of those kind of purses either and so I would honestly use one of these two. So if this one, if you were to buy this brand new, this one also comes in this print here. So would you oh. would you pick this I would probably or stick, would you pick that? I would probably still pick this color. I like this one so much yeah. on this one. Um, this one, I like this color. If, if it came in that other print, I'd probably get it in that print in this one. Yeah, so these are actually two of my favorite bags too. I can't say that this one's my favorite yet because it's new. I've only used it a handful of times, but I can't stop grabbing it yeah. over and over and over again. But for me, I dress very cool tone. I like the cool tone and this is very warm, but the actual monogram itself is cool tone. Cool so tone. I feel like I can pull it off even though it's that rich warm brown with the gold. And FYI, Kim, I can't find a bag with silver hardware. <laughs> I know. I, I never can usually either. That's why all my bags have, I mean, not all of them. The cooler tone the bags cooler do tone have, have yeah. the silver hardware. But um, I don't like silver hardware either. It clashes with my skin tone. I am very cool, pinky, undertoned yeah. person. In the summertime, I definitely can get away with warmer tones because I get very, very tan. She tans easily. I but, <laughs> But in the winter time, that tan goes very quick, and I get very, very pale. So mm -hmm. um, I can't really pull off those warmer tones. Yeah. This next category is a mean category, which is kind of fun. <laughs> I think it's fun because Kim is so nice that it's hard to get her to say anything mean about anything. Yeah. <laughs> but um, one that she absolutely hates. So I hate this one. Really? Really. I love the purple. That's like the only thing I like about it. I don't like this weird like little envelope shape. Like mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's an envelope. Like it's an envelope, <laughs> not a purse. I was like, and I also don't like the pattern. I'm not a big. Uh, it's like a crocodile print. Crocodile print. I'm not a big like animal print like that. Mm. Like it would be different if like this print was like maybe on the inside and it was like a solid. I always forget how to open these. And it was like a solid on the outside, then it'd be fun because it's on the inside. But like as the main point, and then it just, it's honestly, all I can think of is that it's an envelope. <laughs> and then all I want to do to it is just go, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like it's just weird. Like it's not a purse I would want to wear personally at all. And I don't like the print. The only thing that saves it is the color because I yeah, love purple. I really like the color. So this bag was actually gifted to me by Simbono. I need to do a review for you guys. I've done an unboxing on it, but I haven't done a review. When I first got this bag, I actually thought it was going to be one of the bags that I never use. Mm -hmm. I would put it on the shelf and never use it because I tend to do that with my lesser expensive bags. I like to get my cost per wear down yeah. on my more expensive bags. But because I don't own a purple bag, I actually use this very often. Really? Do you wear like darker colors with it or something? Or no, like if I have just a t-shirt and jeans on, or if I if I'm doing an all colorful look, I'll pull that. Or if I have a pink dress on, oh, that makes um, sense. this bag's very lightweight. You can fit yeah, all of lightweight. your essentials inside of there. It's easy to get in and out of. the The strap can be a shoulder strap or crossbody, so it's actually got quite a good amount of pros to this bag yes <laughs> um, I, I don't see the envelope but that's okay <laughs> it's just me <laughs> yeah that's 
that's perfectly fine. Um, so, and that bag's like 120 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. No, that's not nice. bad. It's a nice bag. Yeah, we're going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Even for 120 bucks, I'd be like, mm, no, no thanks. Bag. No, thank you. They do, they do make this style of bag without the crocodile, though. Which is cool and nice, and then it had two but things I didn't like about it, yeah, but other than that, I still want to buy it. Because <laughs> like, it looks like an envelope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all I want to, all I want to do is just make it, like, talk or something. It just reminds me of an envelope. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so we are doing one last category, which I didn't tell her about. Oh, And no. that <laughs> is the bag that, if she could steal a bag from my collection besides that one up there <laughs> because it's her favorite <laughs> we don't want it to be repetitive and it is my favorite i would cry which bag would she steal Ooh, that's a good one she's got multiples you know what i think i would <gasps> victoria birch one's really pretty i like that one see that's a hard one <laughs> i didn't know about this so i didn't think about it beforehand so i was like not prepared I would say Ooh, I'm torn. I'm torn between the Tory Birch and this blue one. Really? Yes. It's, it's funny because those weren't included in any of your favorites. I know. But those would be the But ones if I could steal. just steal because I just feel like it's nothing that I would buy myself. Okay, so it doesn't I, go with your I style. would it would never be anything that I would buy for myself. And a lot of the stuff that I have, like some of my favorite dresses or shirts or something, it's like stuff that she bought for her. And she's like, I don't like the way it wor mm -hmm. works on my body. Here, you try it. And then it ends up being like a favorite. But I never would have bought it because I'm like, ah, that's not really my style. Mm -hmm. And then it ends up like looking great. Like, I would never go in a store and be like, oh, that's cute. I'm going to buy it. Yeah. But like, since I've seen her have it and everything like that, I'm like, this is a really cute bag. Mm -hmm. It's just not something I would personally buy. Okay. For both of these. So actually, I already told Kim that once I have, I have a new bag that I'm saving up for, <laughs> and once I buy that bag, it's going to replace this bag. This one. So this one's technically already hers in a few months. So oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I honestly forgot. <laughs> but yeah, I mean they're they're both really pretty. I like a lot of her bags, so it's really hard for me to like say stuff like that. But at the same time, it's just kind of like. A lot of her bags are not my style, mm -hmm. so I'm just kind of like, uh, I would never buy it. But if I can steal them. <laughs> yeah, that's completely different because you're not paying money for it. Yes, it's yes. Your own hard-earned money for it. A little honorable mention. This one's cute, too, but it has studs on it. And this little <laughs> black one, I was like, oh, that's cute. It's black. It's like practically yeah. her only all-solid black purse she has besides I, her Michael Kors backpack. Yeah, I do want another black. That's on my wish list. I want the um, Dior saddlebag in black. Oh. But you won't like that one. I Probably don't think, not. Because it's, it's an <laughs> edgier style. And is it swoop like a saddle too? Is it's, it too round? It looks like a kidney shape. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I probably yeah. don't like that. Um, but the version I want is very edgy. Like, mm. it's got the Dior logo and blah. I'll show you later. But anyways, <laughs> so that is the end of this video. I was surprised. I do want to mention there was one bag that I'm surprised she didn't pick. Yes. So... <laughs> she would really like this bag because she likes bags about this size yes. like her collection of bags are usually about this size or maybe even tiny bit bigger and I don't know I just it's, thought it's a shape that I do normally like go this for. would be perfect with your outfit yes. you have on so this is <laughs> one that I liked but out of the two that I had to pick out of these two I liked this one better because okay. it was more unique but so that's why I was like I'm I'm actually kind of surprised that you called me out on it because I, I actually looked at it multiple times and I was like I think I like that one and I was like ah no. yeah. if <laughs> so, I were to pick a bag for you out of all of these like one that I thought was your style I would say that this would one be the one yeah see and my, my style changes all the time so but you are super casual I am and that to that bag to me is a little bit more dressy yes and then the other one that I thought she's gonna hate and we talked about this during, <laughs> we talked about this uh in the middle of the part that's cut out that you guys can't see. 
I thought she would hate this bag, but she said she loves everything about it besides the color. But besides the color. Mm -hmm. If the orange was more of like a burnt orange, like a oh, darker, yeah. deeper uh -huh. orange, I'd be 100% into this bag. Mm -hmm. But it's just like a cute little Easter bag. Yeah. Like this reminds me of an Easter bag. I like the size. I like the shape. I like the huge handles mm -hmm. and everything on it. It was just the color was just a little off. And I was like, so I wasn't going to hate it just because yeah. like the other one, the green one that I hated the most I also like didn't like other things yeah. about it so I was like all that one was was just mm -hmm. the color and it was just it wasn't the shade it was just the shade yeah if it was darker and still that undertone of that color I'd be fine with it and I was telling her that if this was in a different color it would probably be one of my top bags because mm -hmm. it is so lightweight it's so comfortable it's so practical so they actually considered selling this to Fashion File, getting a store credit to from Fashion File and getting the same exact bag in a almond color. Mm, so be pretty. I'm kind of torn on it because it is a bag that I bought brand new. I bought it for myself. Um, I didn't, the resale market for these bags is not a lot at all. So that's why I'm torn, but I am considering it. I think I'd get a lot more use if I were to exchange, almost exchange it for, yeah, for an color. almond color. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is going to wrap up our video. If you guys want to see Kim in future videos, she would love to stop by. She has so much fun with me. I do. <laughs> so if you guys want to see her, make sure you guys leave us a comment on some video ideas that we can film for you guys. It's a lot of fun for us. We get to have some girl time and hang out while also producing something for you guys. Yeah. All right, well, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm gonna have a video linked here for you guys to check out next. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, bye guys. Bye.